materials and energy needed to make batteries, are EVs actually greener than an internal combustion engine? Well, it turns out, yes. Yes, they are, even if you use the dirtiest of grids to make and charge them. And in fact, it only takes about a year of driving EV before that carbon debt is repaid. Meanwhile, petrol and diesel cars continue to accrue their carbon debt thanks to their tailpipe emissions. But what if EVs could suck carbon out of the air? How much better could they become for the planet? Well, that's precisely what a ludicrously talented team from Eindhoven University have done with this. This is the ZEM, the Zero Emission Mobility Car, which cleans the air as it drives. Like Fully Charged, you'll love our fun-packed Everything Electric Expos around the world. Next up, we're in London and Harrogate. Remember, energy and transport professionals go for free on the first day. When we're driving, there's an airflow that's coming into the car. Uh, with this airflow, we try to capture the CO2. So there's this, this, this box, basically, that, uh, that has this, this chemical uh, compound in it. And if the CO2 comes next to it, the, the CO2 gets captured. And it gets captured until we put it into an oven. And we can release the CO2 again and use it for something like a, a, greenhouse, a greenhouse or something useful. So how impactful is capturing two kilograms of CO2 per 30,000 kilometers of driving? Well, the lifetime CO2 equivalent per mile of an EV depends on the energy mix of a grid, both of where the vehicle and its components are produced and where the vehicle is charged. But let's take a Tesla Model 3. The CO2 equivalent per kilometer has been estimated between 376 grams CO2 equivalent per kilometer and 256 grams CO2 equivalent per kilometer. Now, assuming a vehicle lasts 12 years, doing an average of 22,000 kilometers a year, the ZEM filter would capture a total of 11.2 kilograms of carbon, or in other words, reduce the CO2 equivalent per kilometer by roughly 0.07 grams. So whilst this is certainly not a get out of jail free card, given that there are 1.4 billion vehicles on the planet, if all of them had carbon capture filters, internal combustion engine vehicles included, that could capture roughly 2.1 million tonnes of carbon a year, which is 0.5% of the UK's annual carbon emissions. So as always, every little helps. But the carbon capture filter isn't the only clever thing this car has done to reduce its emissions. There are a ton of really, really clever things in this car. It is made entirely from 3D printed recycled plastic, which can then be recycled at the end of its life. It's got solar panels, which provide about 15% of the car's energy. The seats are made from pineapple leather and the dash from recycled cooking oil. It is honestly astonishing. And you can imagine that if you made it in a country with a super clean grid, uh, maybe made entirely using solar power, um, with recycled batteries, and this could be the world's most sustainable car. What we're trying to do is uh, go, go to the OEMs, go to companies that actually uh, are looking into the technology that we can aspire to have brainstorming sessions with to, to, to make the world a better place, basically. Uh, to just with the little steps every time. If we can do it, they can do it. There have been various teams at Eindhoven University who have been dedicated to this challenge of making more and more sustainable cars. And they've been doing this since around 2014. And each year, each car gets better and better and better and really proves what's possible. Now, the zero emission mobility car, the ZEM car, that was the 2022 project, but 2023 addresses a slightly different challenge. They're looking at how can you make cars last as long as possible. And so what they've done is created a modular car, which you can update the things which wear out a little bit more quickly, very, very easily, and keep the things which last a little bit longer within the vehicle. So I'm really excited to come back and see that project in action too. Electric vehicles are less impactful on the planet. There is zero debate about that but there's still so much more room for improvement. Polestar want to make a carbon neutral car by 2030, Project Zero, and maybe they, and indeed other car companies, need to give some of these incredibly talented and creative Eindhoven University students a call, and then maybe a job. Let us know what you think in the comments.